Alright everybody, what's going on? It's Thundershot, and I am here with Rhyme Style. What up? And we are here today with a, with a bit of news. We've got a bunch of good information here. First of all, we have potential leaked Fallout 4 release date, and the funny thing to go along with that is we actually have a lot of theories and uh, news that we found from different places on the internet that can actually back up the potential leaked release date. Rhyme Style, you want to tell them about it? Yeah, so let me go ahead and just jump into the first bit of evidence, and that is actually Italy and GameStop uh, that posted this release date you see on the screen of 10-23-2015. It's backwards because it's in Europe, but it's that's uh, October 23rd, 2015, which is actually pretty freaking close. Now, when Fallout 4 was announced, I was amongst the many who were excited about the game because who's not excited about Fallout 4? That is an incredible series, and I cannot wait to play it. But then uh, part of me was like, well, it probably won't come out until 2016, so I shouldn't get too excited. But seeing that the game could potentially come out this soon has me super hyped. But it's not just Italy that potentially kind of screwed up and posted a leak. EB World, which is basically EB Games in Australia, also posted this picture which shows uh, the game's coming out in 2015. So that's two clues now what a potential release date or at least uh, a targeted release date for Fallout 4. And now the guy's thinking. So, uh, uh, I almost called you Rhyme Style. Thunder, do you want to actually talk about uh, placement holders for games and stuff? Yeah, we've got a couple different things going on here. So another thing to add on to that is there was a there's a GameFAQs Twitter page and that Twitter page actually happened to tweet out that Fallout New Vegas or Bethesda had their website say that Fallout's, Fallout 4's release date was going to be 2015 to be announced. Now, Rammstein had did some digging on the website. We couldn't find it. Maybe they changed it. Maybe it was just in a spot that we couldn't find. But we didn't find any evidence to back that up. That's just something else you need to keep in mind. On top of that, uh, placement holders, which is what I was going to talk about. If you ever see a website like Amazon or GameStop or something like that, have a game's release date set to December 31st uh, for this year, 2015, which is what Fallout's release date is currently set for on Amazon, if you look. A lot of people see that and they think, why would the game come out the last day of the year? And in reality, what that is, is that's actually a placeholder date. What they do is when the game's release date hasn't been announced, maybe they don't know yet, or maybe it just hasn't been, been available to the public, they put it for December 31st, 2015, or end of the year when they're shooting for quarter four. That just means that the game developers are releasing for a quarter four release date. Now, a couple other things to go along with that is Bethesda has pretty much always released Fallout in October. Both Fallout 3 and New Vegas were October releases. And Bethesda has also put themselves on for E3 this year. And Bethesda doesn't strike me as the kind of company with their track record that would come out to their first E3 that they've been to and, and announce Fallout 4 for next year. If they were going to do that, for me, they would have waited a year and done it then. So all these things kind of lead up to October release date for Fallout 4. It all kind of makes sense to me. So something else I also want to point out is, uh, going back to what Thundershot was talking about with placement holders, so pretty much any game that doesn't have a release date, uh, as he said, Amazon and GameStop will always list some kind of, uh, not some kind of, but always list 12, uh, 12 31st, 2015, or whatever that year is, for the game. However, there's some games that are meant to come out the next year. So for example, Deus Ex Mankind Divided is a game that was announced for 2016. But notice how the release date on the screen, you see it says 12 31 2016. If this game didn't have uh, quite a uh, target release date yet, it would have probably said 12 31 2015 just like any other game. But since that game is kind of a target to release in 2016, we know that Deus Ex is coming out in 2016. But since uh, Fallout 4, as you can see, says 12 31 2015, that's another clue that we're actually going to get this game this year rather than next year. Uh, Thundershot, I want to give you the honors of dropping the actual bomb, the final bomb to this uh, video. The real, Literally the bomb. The real deal? Okay, so one thing you have to remember is that GameStop Italy and uh, the EB Games Australia are what leaked it. That's uh, that's uh, Australasia and EU, EU regions, so that's something you got to keep in mind. In NA, the release date could possibly be different, usually sooner, if we look at what days of the week games are typically released in NA. But October 23rd is a really specific and important release date for the reason that in the year 2077, on October 23rd, that is the day that the Great War began in the Fallout universe. Ooh. There you go. So that got me really thinking. I was like, oh, what if uh, you know, Bethesda is actually uh, ahead of schedule with the game and they actually want to release it specifically around that. Now, something we do want to point out is 1023 to 2015 is actually a Friday, which in Europe, uh, games always come out on Fridays instead of Tuesdays like they do here in the U.S. So the possible release date for, uh, uh, for Fallout 4 in the U.S. will be 1020, 2015, uh, if, I'm, uh, if I'm right, uh, Thundershot? Uh, I have the calendar right here. Yeah, October 20th. October 20th or the following Tuesday after that. Or it might even be Friday. They might just do a Friday release because some companies have done Friday releases for games. So what do you guys think about that? Like That's that's kind of a, a literal bomb to drop. And uh, I, I'm excited. I'm actually super hyped. Like, if the game's coming out really that much sooner, I am literally going to just... 
I don't know. I'm just going to curl up my fetal position and cry and just wait until October if that's true. And we see a lot of these companies who announce things that come out like, oh, it's going to come out. They put the placeholder date as December 2015. They shoot for quarter four because that's when the money is to be made. You release your game in November or as Fallout can do it in October because they're such a widely well accepted game. They can drop their bomb in October near the end of October and it'll still be good all the way well through Christmas and whatnot. But they drop their game in November. People buy it on release date. People buy it through Christmas and then the end of the year happens and everyone's out of money because everyone just spent all their money on Christmas. Um, we see a lot of companies who can't make the cut and they end up having to back their game up, but Bethesda, with how long they've had to work on this and with how sound of a company Bethesda always seems to be on this kind of thing, I do not see them backing it up. I see them 100% hitting their mark, and I think October 23rd is a pretty damn good bet considering all the information we brought for you here today. Yeah, and I'm pretty confident the game should actually be just about done too because Fallout 3 was announced uh, in July of 2004, and the game was released October 28th, 2008. So it took four years to develop that game. And since the last game, uh, Skyrim was the last big game that Bethesda did, uh, which came out in 2011. So it kind of makes sense that between 2011 and 2015, today, the game should be just about getting ready to wrap up. And, 2000, um, and, 2000, and October 23rd seems like a potentially good idea for a release date. So what do you guys think about that theory? That's kind of a, again, it's kind of a bomb to drop there. But what do you guys think about that theory? If uh, Fallout 4 is indeed coming out in October, who is excited for that? I'm just excited for Fallout 4, like, in general. I want to start going on rants and stuff on what I want on a Fallout 4, but I think that's another video for another day. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it up. We'll keep up with uh, Bethesda and the entire Fallout 4 uh, movement until the game comes out. I mean, the big news is going to come out at E3 when they do a press conference, so uh, definitely expect both me and Thundershot to cover that because we love Fallout. And, uh, you know, we're just we're just excited. So. Yeah. yeah. So what do you guys think of our theory? What do you guys think of what we've managed to pile together here through Reddit threads and Twitter and leaks and whatnot and things like that? Maybe you guys have some of your own theories on what day it's going to drop or maybe what day it could correlate to drop in your country. Let us know in the comment section down below. Yep, sounds good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Thundershot. And I'm Rhyme Style. And we'll see you guys in the comment section below. Peace. It's all over, but the crowd.